You're such an asshole. WeekendAssholeConsulting.com edition. Oh, because you guys just want me. You all want me so much. I'm in such demand. Oh, you get more coffee. Oh. Anyway, we well, got a question. If you have a question, you need some kind of guidance, consultation, wisdom, blah, 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 and you need an old fart like me, or maybe you're older than me and you just fucked up your life, and like, holy shit, this kid, because of relative age, I would be the kid. He's got, oh my God, I should listen to him. Uh, pay me. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I think. And if you who the fuck are you? Uh, look me up. I'm the world's only professional asshole. Tammy writes. Hi, Aaron. My name's Tammy. I'm 29 years old, saying I can honestly proclaim that I'm 100% debt-free. I live in New Jersey with my sister, who, by the way, pays for nothing because she's paying off her student loan debt. I'm a big fan of the podcast and YouTube channel and respect your advice. You are very wise, very wise. Hence the writing of this email. My problem is I have no higher education, no degrees in any form. I work a full-time retail job, and though I have not tested my IQ, I don't think... I'm smart enough for any trade school or jobs you mentioned in any of your videos. Okay, I'm going to stop you right here. <clears throat> you got to test your IQ regardless, okay? Uh, because you got to find out what is your raw potential and capacity. And even if you your IQ doesn't come in as high as you think it is, or, or it doesn't come in as high, I'm not that much of a believer that your IQ will limit you. And I'm not, if you come in an IQ like 90, yeah, you ain't going to become no chemical engineer. But... Your writing indicates to me you ain't no dummy. I mean, you, you thought this out. that it, Reading through it, I could just tell. I'm not trying to kiss your ass. You know, you're not an idiot. I've ran into idiots. I taught them, okay, in college. I've seen papers. Uh, your writing would indicate to me that you're probably smarter than you realize. Regardless, you owe it to yourself to get your IQ tested. Don't be afraid. It is what it is. You're just going to find out what number it is. So it doesn't, there's no... Shame, it's not going to make you any less intelligent than you are if you come in really stupid, all right? But I think you might be underestimating yourself where it's like you're right like this. You know, oh, I can't become an engineer. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe your math skills ain't that great. But you, you do, you, you're you well-spoken, which is correlated with reasonably high intelligence. So do that. Uh, I have not tested my IQ. I don't think it's hard for school to recommend. Other than becoming a stripper, I want to continue to make money. Wait. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to think I'm smart enough to answer or jobs you recommend in any of your videos other than becoming a stripper. Com okay, point, period. I want to continue making money and live financially independent life. I hope to one day earn more than a measly $40,000 a year I make now. Even with saving every penny I earn and staying out of debt, I'm scared that my financial freedom will never be an option as I'm limited in the position I'm in. All right, let's stop you here again. <clears throat> you are limited, but... You gotta take. You gotta compare yourself relative to your peers. All right. Look at other twenty-nine-year-old women. Shit. Compare yourself to fifty. Compare yourself to any woman. <laughs> you have no debt. Boom. You're in the top five percent of women, regardless of age. Uh, you're in the top five percent of twenty-nine-year-olds, men or female, or uh, men or women. Uh, I I don't know where you, you where you you're so down on yourself, but you are frugal. You are debt free. You obviously have a personal budget. You obviously have discipline. You obviously have frugality. These are great traits. Now you are more free than you realize. And maybe you don't like your job, but nobody does. Nobody likes their job. There, there's not that, that, get rid of that idea. Like, oh my God, there's this dream job. No, no, there is no such thing. Every great once in a while, if you play your cards right and are incredibly intelligent and incredibly good looking, you might start a company called Asshole Consultant. But aside from that, or like your Norm <laughs> from Cheers and he gets to be the beer meister. Aside from those incredibly rare things, all jobs suck. So you're going to have to have a job regardless one way or another. Um, so you're, But the skills that you have have made it that you are much more financially free than the average person. Right? You are not a debt slave. <clears throat> you're working a job. You, it seems like you're holding it down. Uh, you and your sister are doing fine. So... Go easy on yourself. Certainly don't give up the fiscal discipline and frugality. Um, but you are way more free than you're real. Again, compare yourself to your peers. Compare yourself to your other 29-year-old party-going girlfriends. Who, I guarantee you they got student loans, they got debts, they got credit card bills. You probably see it. All right? You're not that.
So this also makes you kind of a good catch, too, if you're starting to go down the husband route. Because it's like, hey, she's got her shit together. She has a job. Maybe you're not making 60, 70, 80, or six feet. That's fine. That's fine. You're supporting yourself, and you have no debt. Dude, you're, you're doing great, okay? So you, you are more financially independent than most. Uh, every, even with saving every penny I earn and staying out of debt, I'm scared my financial freedom will never be an option as I'm limited in the position I'm in. I tend to dabble a lot, flip-flop between potential fields, making it hard for me to ever really master anything. So the big question, should I stay in my current position, go back to school and learn a trade, quit my job and become a webcam girl, marry a wealthy man, I don't know what to do, I'm stuck, I want to do the right thing, give it to me straight, I'm ready, thanks dad. Then I know what else? <clears throat> I asked her another couple questions. Um, uh, what do you want to do? Blah, blah, blah. Do you want to start family? Any fields of interest? Any, have you traveled outside? Not certain what I want to do. Not much experience. Oh, I told her sense of pain. She's a babe. She's good looking, guys. She's, if any of you guys are out in New Jersey and you want a debt-free woman, that looks pretty good. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> and she's a pain in the ass, so she kept calling me old. What is it? Thanks, Daddy, because Dad makes you sound old as fuck. Yeah, okay. All right, so she's got a little lip, too. Got a little spunk to her. All right. There you guys go. Uh, I don't plan moving from my home in New Jersey unless a better opportunity arises. I've always had any self-development, life coaching, and success plan. Well, yeah, but you don't, you don't, you've just been, no offense, you're not going to become a life coach or teach. And you can become a teacher uh, or you get a master's at something and then you go teach. But what are you going to teach? What are you, what are you a life expert at? I am an expert at fucking up and telling people what not to do. Okay, that's my specialty, is, is having a tremendously fucked up language, maybe a little bit of success, uh, and then say, hey, whoa, guys, don't do that. That's my specialty. Now, you haven't fucked up, and you haven't had, you don't have a specialty, so how are you going to life coach? I guess you could life coach. One thing you could do is tell women how not to get into debt. That would be one, that's one skill you got. Shit, you know what you could do? Because you got the, you could, because you are good looking enough, you could start a YouTube channel about 20-something girl finance or how to stay out of debt for girls and all your followers would be guys because you're pretty but that okay that we'll, we'll get on um let me go through it ba, 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 you're crafty so cook interior decorating and building shit if I'm forced to go the husband route I'd be better off earning income becoming a stripper I would do it but it's not at the top of the list all right so you're not all that keen on getting married and I ask you again because you don't pay attention. You, you have visited Florida and the Dominican Republic for family. Okay. All right. Here's, here's the thing. Um, you've been in a bubble. Uh, not a pampered spoil, but you just lived in New Jersey your entire life. You made it to Florida and the Dominican Repub Republic and you're 30. Now, I'm not, I'm not besmirching you because I didn't have a ton of money either when I was that age. And it really wasn't until I was 30 that I actually start expanding. Um, this means you – this is why I wrote Reconnaissance, man – because you don't know what's out there. And right now you're kind of wandering aimlessly through the desert. And that's because all your experience has been in this bubble. Right? Now, this doesn't mean that if you go and travel, it's going to directly lead to you figuring out what you want to major in. But it is going to teach you a lot about yourself where you go out and you travel and you see different places. Right? And the reason I'm telling you this is, is for two reasons. One, Man, New Jersey sucks. You don't know. I know it's because you don't know any better. You think New Jersey because that's all you know is New Jersey. Before you're too old, I really strongly recommend you travel around the country and see if there's other places you wouldn't mind being. All right? So that will get you out of New Jersey, the tax shithole known as New Jersey. No young person should be in New Jersey, especially if they got hustle. The th second thing it will do is it will, like, jumpstart you a little bit and start providing you perspective about the world, and you'll start learning some things about yourself. All right, road trip, fly here, fly there. Please, for the love of God, don't do the party girl Vegas thing, all right? If you're gonna go to Vegas, go to, don't go to LA and do the party girl shit. You could get that out. I'm talking like, go to Denver, do hiking. Go to Vegas, drive in the desert. Um, you know, travel around, go to Montana, hike some mountains, that type of stuff. Right? This may take several years, though, for you to figure out because usually when people are in the 20s, or well, they're starting to explore, starting to figure themselves out, but you've stagnated in a certain sense, staying in fucking New Jersey. So that will help you figure things because I asked you, do you have a preference for one thing or not? You don't. So you're a blank slate still. 
And it's, it's kind of like, well, what are your options? Well, you got every option on the table. And if you have no inkling or preference, or I think I'd like this, you can't even start beginning to explore these options. So the first thing I would do is if you have any money, you and your sister go road trip somewhere. Um, maybe hit Florida again, because it's going to be cold here in New Jersey pretty soon. <clears throat> I'd recommend Phoenix. I'd recommend Vegas. Um, Denver could be a little cold, but if you like snow, go to Denver. Plenty of winter sports. Just you and your sister go travel a bit, because okay? so that's one thing you're going to do. Okay? And if you don't do that, please read Reconnaissance Man. All right? At least it'll, it'll make the argument that I'm trying to make now much more succinctly and thoroughly uh, than I'm what I am here. Now, in addition to that, you got to figure out something to do, dude, uh, because you're not set and happy with working as a retail manager, which is fine. And that's something maybe you got to think about. What do you really want out of life? Because if you want to just become a housewife and have kids, if that's been your deepest, darkest desire to have a family and raise kids, well, then there's nothing wrong with you being a, a retailer. If you're a minimalist, if you are okay reading books, if that's what makes you happiest, if you like learning languages, if you just like spending time with your sister and your friends, if you're not into, like, if you don't have the financial need, well, what's wrong with working retail? You obviously have done very well with it. You have no debt. You're, you're doing fine. Uh, maybe you could work a little bit more, earn a little bit more, so you have a little, you know, you could travel a little bit. But <clears throat> by and large, you don't need the money. So it's not like you have to go and become an engineer, or you have to become a computer programmer, or you have to become a doctor. Uh, you certainly can become those things, but because this is one of the benefits of minimalism, and you seem to have that skill, that ability to do it, is you get to do what you like in leisure. You don't have to spend 10 years in medical school. Uh, <clears throat> so that's another uh, router option. But then when it comes to everything else, well, it really, I mean, what do you want to do? If you want to go through them in order here, okay. If you want a husband, and be honest with yourself, if you want a husband, you're 29. The good thing is you don't look 29. You're, you're, you're one, you're very pretty, but two, more importantly, you're younger looking. So you, you only look like you're 23 or 24 unless you took like posy pictures that make you look younger than you actually are. Uh, so you got that going for you. But there will be a time your beauty runs out. And this is where we got to go cash in the chips, okay? You're gonna, if you want to get married, you better start now. And if you want to want to have kids, you really better start now because your body, no matter how pretty and young your face may be, your ovaries and your eggs ain't going to uh, stay that young and fresh. And you don't worry about Down syndrome children and all that. So you got to really sit down and think some things through about yourself and what you want out of life. Talk to your sister, especially when it comes to family and, and a husband and stuff like that. So that's one route. The next route is going back to school for something, all right? Here, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time on your own online researching what you wanna study. Uh, this is the number one mistake young kids in high school make because uh, they just think, oh, I'm gonna major in this. They don't really think about it. They don't live out in the real world. They just go straight from high school to college. And this is what my parents said, okay, any degree is a good degree, all right. <clears throat> you should take as much time as you need to figure it out. The problem is you should have been figuring this out for the past decade, 11, 12 years even, and you've just been kind of been in your bubble again. So I would spend some time every night going online and researching different fields that are of interest to you. Now, if you've listened to the channel, you know STEM, the trades, medicine, none of this liberal arts bullshit, none of that poppycock and crap. Okay, if you're going to spend the money and invest your time on a degree or getting some kind of certifications, it has to pay off in the end. Plus, that's your number one complaint. You're not that worried, or you are that worried that you don't have that, quote, financial freedom because you don't make that much money. You're not that excited about your job, although you seem to do okay at it. So you got to make sure that there's money at the end. What that world is, I can't tell you. That's where you really got to go and figure it out yourself. As long as you're once again in the ballpark and you're not majoring in stupid shit, you're going to be all right. Okay, so do that study and get your IQ tested to see that you're not underselling yourself, right? So find out what you really like. Maybe take an online class through Coursera or Khan's Academy or just some tutorials on YouTube. See if you like it. But inevitably, you know, within a year, you better start figuring out and settling on a, on a degree or a profession or a career. Third or fourth thing you can do, entrepreneurship. Uh, watch the double-pronged approach or the two-pronged approach that's on YouTube you find it on, on my channel but while you're working maybe instead of going to school or becoming an engineer 
you'd be interested in entrepreneurship. Um, you talked about some things, but now they're typical girl things. I'm not good at interior design. Fuck, don't. I tried one gal said she was good at interior design. I helped her set up an LLC. This was when I was even younger than you. And she did, typical gal, she didn't fall through. Well, you get to follow through. You get to make money. Do you have the hustle? Do you have the drive? Because here's the thing, if you're good at it, and this is where your looks are going to start to come in, you can get by, you can, you can uh, capture and schnooker, not schnooker, that sounds bad. You can capture and get a lot more business if you're a professional, good-looking gal, and you got hustle, and you got a good business idea. Now, obviously, there's probably more in the world of retail, interior design, knitting, sewing. No, no, you're not doing the Etsy thing. But something might come up. If an idea comes up and you can, you can give it a shot and it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg, like, you know, you don't have to sign all alone. You can, you can do it frugally. You can do it from the internet or whatever. Maybe pursue that and consider that. Then your final option, you, you say stripper or webcam girl. I'm going to call it monetizing your beauty because that's really what it is. And I don't know if you saw the video. I'm going to link down to it below or I'll send it to you in the email <clears throat> about how women can monetize their beauty. Because in the olden days, yes, it was marry a rich guy, capture a rich guy, become, um, what was not married, you are a, uh, uh, a mistress, and you get a stipend <laughs> to make it so literal, but that's what it was. Here's your spending account, sweetheart. You're my fucking uh, 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 Dallas uh, courtesan. So there's that. Uh, and then there was just rank prostitution, and then there's stripping, and all that other stuff. But the problem, well, not the problem, the benefit is with the internet, as you, you can be a webcam girl. You don't have to go strip. You don't have to be a courtesan. You don't have to be a prostitute. You don't have to have anything to do with these, with these uh, guys. The other thing, though, is you don't even have to do sexual stuff. Um, you know what? I even pay you. If Here's what I'm looking for. And I, I, won't, I won't beat around the bush because I, 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 we had Captain's Quarterly. I paid for a good-looking model. Um... But then also, what I want to do is I have like these deep, really, you know, good economic pieces written on the blog. And I go and I have some guy read it, or I'll read it myself, I'll put it on YouTube. Eh, solving the world's economic problems, all this could prevent the housing crisis, could solve poverty, could close the wage gap between females and males, minorities and whites. Does anyone? No. But if you have a cute set of tits dressed in lingerie reading it, that would get a million hits. I even saw... What was it? Again, you don't have to even do, it's not even, well, you are using beauty, but it's, it's not, you don't have to do porn or prostitution. There was, what was it? it came, I was looking at metal detecting, and there's a gal, Buffy or Brittany or Britty, Brit, Brit or Brittany, um, doing metal detecting. It's, it's a chick with huge fucking cans. Obviously, she got her cleavage down. She's just metal detecting. 1.5 million fucking views. Like, fuck me. What the fuck? So what you can do, the point I'm getting at, is if you wanted to go on the internet, you are pretty enough that if you were to simply, and I've always said this, if you simply espouse not leftist views, regardless of what your views are, you could be the world's leftist, most socialist, most feminist person. I don't, I don't know. You, that could be your politics. But if you say, fuck that, I want to make money, any pretty woman could go online if she's well-spoken and do a presentation or say something about concern. Look up millennial milling. That's another thing. Uh, I, I mean, you're obviously more better spoken than she is if you're writing as representative of your speaking skills. She says, tee, I have titties. And oh my goodness, I just hate socialists. They're so lame. Oh my God, fucking. Well, let's look this up. Let's look her up. I'm not joking. I, I looked her up the last time. No more than two, three months ago. This gal had half the viewers I died. I looked her up a week later. She blew through me. Let's have a look. Millennial Millie. She knows exactly what she's doing. Millennial Millie. How many views? Yep, here she is. 47,000. She's doubled my, uh, almost doubled my subscribership. All right? For What? Just because she has a cute set of tits, okay? So you don't even have to do porn. All you got to do is not be a leftist. Do something cute. Do some uh, metal detecting something. Play with fucking puppies. I don't know. But that's a way that you don't have to go the full porn route or actually be a webcam girl. Unless you're into that thing, fine, cool. I mean, yeah. Oh, get paid to have orgasms and have guys pay me thousands of dollars. All right, fine. Which, 
<laughs> I can see it. Trust me. If a guy says, "Hey, I'll make you a million bucks if you if you go like star on a camera for a week," fine. Yeah, give me the million bucks. Whatever. I'm I'm done. I'm retired. I'm out. Uh, but the larger point is, there may be something of hobbies or interest to you that you enjoy doing: interior design. Um, knitting, you're a pretty girl, or you could go rank politics and just play to the conservative, desperate, <laughs> um, conservative libertarian males where there are, there's a lack of good looking women in the conservative field. So, somewhere in this internet realm, it could be webcam girl, but also some combining with entrepreneurship, yet still capitalizing on your looks. I think there's a lot of potential there for you as well. And then here's the other thing. Once all you say you start making money on the internet, guess what? You don't need to be in New Jersey. You can be like me. You're driving around. You grab your, your mobile cam. You film. You're there in the Black Hills. Hey, it's the captain here. Give me your fucking money. And as long as I got internet access, it works. So that would get you into not only the money and entrepreneurship, but a world on the internet, which means your location independent. You can do it from a fucking... You can go to the Dominican Republic and film your videos about knitting and on a beach drinking a mojito. So, there's that. Alright, let's go back. <clears throat> uh, should I stay in my current position? Yeah, you should stay in your current position because you just can't quit. You, got, you need money. Mary Wolf, me man, da, da, da. Okay, then one final thing. I've talked about this on the How to Monetize Your Beauty Look, uh, you seem indifferent about getting married to a guy, uh, or it's not on the on the uh, on your radar. Like you, something else is occupying your mind, and that's fine. That's that's okay. You'll get married when you're ready. But you really gotta read, and I maybe recommend even Bachelor Pad Economics, um, because the at least the philosophy chapter. It's very important to realize what the most important thing in life is, and that is other human beings. And the most important other human being in your life. Well, right now it's your sister, but down the road, in theory, it would be your spouse. And then your would-be child. Not that there should be a hierarchy. There are different types of love for familial love, child love, romantic love. But humans are the number one important thing in your life. All right? That's what's going to give you the most. I think you kind of know that living your frugal life. But the day's going to come, and it starts to tighten up around your age where the good men are picked over. It's, it is like a cantaloupe or a, a vegetable stand. The good stuff, the good produce is, pick, is starting to get picked over. Now, you're very pretty you're young looking, so maybe you got a little bit more time than the average 29-year-old girl. But if you want to get married, uh, uh, start thinking about it. But then also, if, you, if you're not sure if you want to get married or even date someone long-term, have, have someone in your life, start thinking about that. Uh, because what's going to happen about now is... Your sister's going to meet someone, your friends are going to meet someone, or they're going to move, or they're going to move on with their life. Something's going to happen, and then it is a fucking desert. And then you're sort of like, okay, I'm stuck with myself, what do I do? And it's like, oh, now you start to realize, holy shit, everyone shacks up with somebody else. Not that that should make you scramble to go find someone because that's not what you want out of life. I'm just warning you that that is coming down the road. So really start to think about... Whether or not you want to get married, whether or not you want to like have someone in your life, uh, and if you do, that you get that's that's harder than getting a master's in engineering because at least a master's in engineering it's under your control. You study hard, you get it. There's your degree. Whether you find someone quality or not, that's a lot harder, especially nowadays. And I know I like to pick on the women, but that's because I dated women. I'm not interested in men. I am completely aware that the quality and caliber of men fucking suck. I'm aware of that. I've seen their limp hard wristed fucking pussy shit. Especially for you, you mal Ah! Oh, what salmon colored jeans pussy would you date? Oh, you poor girl. So, that's it. I gave it to you straight. Uh, I hope that helps. Do watch that video on monetizing your beauty. There's other caveats and warnings in there. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully, like I said, I can't, I can't tell you exactly what to do. You got to figure that out yourself. But hopefully, I give you some options. Hopefully, some of them seem more lucrative than others, more doable than others. Some you have to do now because you're not okay. You know what? Not a lot of people are gonna want to see you when you're 60 with your wrinkly, pruny boobs sewing on the fucking porn knitting webcam girl at 60. Mm -mm. Nope, no one likes Madonna no more. Mm -mm. So you better capitalize. If you want your youth, you better capitalize on that now because uh, it's tickety-tock, tickety-tock.
Anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.